Hello, everyone. Welcome to my presentation. First, let me introduce myself. My name is Yunhua Luo. I am a professor at the Department of Mechanical Engineering in the University of Manitoba, Canada. In this presentation, I will report our recent progress in the development of non-segmentation image-based finite element modeling uh, since uh, image-based finite modeling has been widely used in um, the characterization of composites and in biomedical engineering, why there is a need to develop the so-called non-segmentation image-based finite and modeling. To answer this question, I will first review the deficiencies of conventional image-based finite element modeling. Following that, I will present the main idea of non-segmentation image-based finite element modeling and the results of a convergence and a validation study. I will conclude my um, presentation with the main findings. So basically, um, two types of final element models can be constructed from uh, material images. The first one is focus-based models. That is, finite elements are directly generated from image focuses. These kind of um, models are effective for capturing material heterogeneity and uh, it's mainly used by biomedical researchers for the assessment of bone strains and the fracture risk. But this method is uh, computationally very expensive. The other type of uh, finite models are geometry-based uh, models. So a geometrical model of the uh, material microstructure is uh, required for this uh, approach, uh, which is uh, constructed by segmentation of uh, face materials. Finite elements are aligned with the interface of face materials. Each element is allowed to have only one face material. There are a number of deficiencies for this uh, approach. It often fails to generate um, a finite mesh. And then the quality of the finite mesh is often uh, a concern. And uh, it also has difficulty to achieve a high volume fraction of inclusions. To eliminate the deficiencies in the previous two types of fundamental models, we develop a so-called uh, non-segmentation image-based finite modeling approach. In this approach, composite microstructures is represented as uh, digital images. Segmentation of face materials is not required. This is why it's called a non-segmentation uh, modeling approach. The final end mesh is independent of the microstructure. Element is allowed to have more than one face material. The key step in this approach is to calculate the effective material properties in each element. Calculate element uh, effective uh, properties, volume fractions of uh, face materials in the element are required. To calculate uh, volume fractions of face materials in an element, we first uh, find out all the voxels located in the element and then identify their material types volume fractions of the face materials are calculated is the ratio of the voxels of the uh, material types. With the determined um, volume fractions of face materials in an element, now we are able to calculate element uh, effective properties. Theoretically, all formulas developed from micromechanics of um, Particulate composites can be applied here. 
we implemented uh, four of them uh, the Riemann sum equation, rule of mixture, inverse rule of mixture, and uh, Mori Tanaka uh, formula. It was found out that uh, Riemann sum integration is equivalent to the rule of uh, mixture. We studied the convergence uh, behavior of uh, the non-segmentation image-based fundamental modeling and find out that the process of uh, convergence is independent of the method that is used to calculate element effective properties. The results shown in the following figure are produced by using uh, Mori Tanaka method. It can be seen that uh, the convergence process is uh, steady and uh, the convergence rate is high. We used an experiment case for the validation. The compasses are a series of uh, glass microsphere filled uh, polyester with different volume fractions of uh, polyester and the glass. Uh, the Young's modulus and poses ratio of the composites were measured by experiments and the phase material properties are available for finite element modeling. A cubic representative volume element of uh, the composites uh, was used in finite end modeling. Young's modulus and potency ratio were predicted by non-segmentation image-based finite end modeling and uh, focal-based finite end modeling. The focal-based finite end modeling is accurate to capture material heterogeneity. Some of the validation results are shown here. In this figure showing the results related to Young's modulus, the solid uh, uh, Black circles represent uh, experiment data. The red line is the results of uh, focal based finite modeling. And the blue dashed line is the um, uh, rule of uh, mixture. And uh, the green line corresponds to Mori Tanaka method. And uh, the black dashed line is the um, inverse rule of uh, mixture. So from this figure, it can be seen that uh, the rule of, uh, the inverse rule of uh, mixture has the best uh, agreement with the experiment data. This figure shows the results related to Poisson's ratio. And uh, from the figure, it can be seen Mori Tanaka method has better agreement with the experiment data than the other two methods. So from the results, uh, it can be observed that the accuracy of non-segmentation image-based finite end modeling is greatly affected by the method to calculate element effective properties. No of the uh, four methods has a uh, good good agreement with both of the um, experiment data and the results of uh, focal based uh, fundamental modeling. Therefore, further efforts should be devoted to find out or develop a more effective method for the calculation of element effective properties. Thank you for watching my presentation. If you have any question about my research and the presentation, please send me an email. Thanks.